The Chicago Bulls are in the midst of a brutal losing streak right now. This team has lost seven out of its last eight games after Friday night's loss to the Orlando Magic. This has led to some heavy criticism for a team that has title aspirations this season, which now also includes some brutally honest words from head coach Billy Donovan. Before the game against the Magic, the Bulls coach took aim at his best players as he called out Chicago's big three for their lackluster display to start the season. In his mind, Donovan believes that the Bulls are going to continue to struggle up until DeMar DeRozan, Zach Luvian, and Nikola Vucevic all step up to the plate. I've got like a lot of respect on a lot of levels for Nikola Vucevic and DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine of who they are as players, Donovan said. We're never going to be as good as we can be as a team until, in my opinion, those three guys really drive the opening part of the game. Those three guys are important to our team and if we're working around them so to speak, like you're talking about, I don't think we're going to get to where we need to go to, Donovan continued. And I don't mind saying this because I don't look at it as pressure on them. It's just what we've got to do as a basketball team. That's the expectation, that's the standard. Donovan also said he doesn't think his demands are going to rub his stars the wrong way. DeRozan, Luvin, and Vucevic are all veterans, and they are all all-star caliber players. We all know how good these guys can be, and I'm sure that, at least to some extent, they would admit that they just haven't been playing up to par of late. This attempt to fire up the troops clearly didn't work, as the Bulls suffered yet another loss, this time to the young Orlando Magic. The contest actually went down the wire and it required a game-winning three-pointer from Magic guard Jalen Suggs to hand the Bulls a heartbreaking 108-107 home defeat. What makes the Magic loss even worse for the Bulls was that Orlando came into the matchup shorthanded. Rookie sensation Paolo Bencaro and Cole Anthony both sat out for the Magic as they joined the likes of Markel Fultz, Jonathan Isaac, and Moritz Wagner on the sidelines. Zach Luvin was a notable absence from the floor late in the game, and following the loss, Coach Donovan explained his decision to bench his star down the stretch. He had a tough night shooting, and um, you know I thought that that group there, uh, I thought that group really fought their fought their way back into the game. You know I, I came back to Zach, and you know I just it, it you know it was one of those games for me. He just didn't have a great game. I mean, great players that happens. You know he's he's uh, you know he cares. I think deeply about the team, but you know, it, he just he wasn't playing well. I just made a decision and I felt like that group had really worked their way back into the game and I wanted to give them an opportunity to close it. And certainly we had every opportunity to do it, um, but, um, you know, weren't able to do it. But he, he just, I mean, he, he, had, he had a tough night tonight. I'm sure he's really disappointed. You know, he's a very, really, really competitive guy. Um, you know, I, I, I love working with him every day. Um, he's about the team. But I also know, you know, how much he puts into it, you know, and I know how much it means to him and how much he cares about it. So, um, you know, the, the, the ramifications of, of him not being out there, um, to me, I was trying to do what was best for our team in that moment, you know what, and, and when, you know, I feel like my job, my responsibility in those moments is to try to make the best decisions for the team. And um, I thought that was the best decision at the time. To me, I don't look at it as anything else as, you know, a one-off game where this is what was going on. And, you know, I know he wanted to be out there. There's probably not very many games in his career that he hasn't been out there in those moments, but that group was playing well. A tough night is a complete understatement for Levine, who scored just four points on one of 14 shooting. After seeing how badly he shot the ball during Friday's game, it would be hard to challenge Donovan's decision to have his star guard sit out the last few minutes of the contest. Levine clearly was not the biggest fan of Donovan's decision and made it clear he's the type of a player that has to be on the court to close out the game. You know, it just sucks, but it's a game, man. You got to get on to the next one and be ready to, uh, you know, I'll do what you did. So, I mean, that's Billy's decision. You got to lay with it, you know. Do I agree with it? No. You know, I think I can go out there and still be me even if I miss some shots, but you know, that's his decision. And, um, you know, he has to stand on it. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'll figure it out after this. I've missed a lot of shots, man, but I've had a lot of games where, you know, I played terrible and, you know, four or five minutes I get 15, 16 points. So, um, and I just wasn't able to shoot the next shot. Louvine is a two-time All-Star in the first season of a five-year, $215 million max contract, the ultimate status symbol in the league. He is one of the team's best players, someone who maintains the ultimate confidence in his supreme scoring ability even when he's enduring an unsightly one for 14 shooting night. He is one of the faces of the franchise. Donovan Long has been known as a player's coach who communicates well and directly. Historically, he has had strong relationships with veterans and stars, and his working relationship with Levine to this point is no exception. But such a decision, even if Donovan isn't thinking about long-term ramifications in the moment, will test the relationship. 
DeMar DeRozan came up big for the Bulls in this one, but not even his 41-point explosion was enough to lead his team to victory. Nikola Vucevic had a noteworthy performance as well against his former team, logging a 14-point, 16-rebound double-double with 7 assists and 3 blocks. Billy Donovan is in his third season as the head coach of the Bulls, and the team might need to take a step forward in order for him to keep the gig for another season. Chicago missed the playoffs entirely in Donovan's first season after finishing with a 31-41 record, and they were eliminated in the first round last season after finishing sixth in the East with a 46-36 record. There was obvious improvement, but the ending of the season was somewhat underwhelming after the team added several pieces, including DeMar, Lonzo Ball and Alex Caruso, in free agency the prior summer. The Bulls now have the league's 11th highest payroll. With an increased payroll comes increased expectation. And if Donovan is unable to meet them and yet continue to frustrate his star players, Chicago might choose to look elsewhere. Tell us in the comments, how would you fix the Chicago Bulls? And if you like this video, share, subscribe and hit the like button. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Vintage Dawkins and Squad Dawkins and follow us on social media.